inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming. You know what, I've, I've just been spending some time thinking up here, what is my hair doing? I'm gonna do a bit of a tutorial on how to like build parkour lines, like how to break them down and how to sort of take every single individual movement and then piece it all together into one big thing. So for starters, check your surfaces. This one's a bit, a bit weird, a bit dusty, but it's like solid enough. I'm gonna go over and check that wall as well. Check your surfaces, because sometimes you might slip, you might break something, whether that's you or a uh, piece of like the roof or whatever you're training on so check your goddamn surfaces that is like the main first tip right so now that i've given everything a bit of a scout we're going to give the line a first go and it doesn't need to be a one bang your lines never need to be a one bang but it's pretty nice if they are all right here goes nothing Cradles, profanities. I see the through ice covered in as I'm just sat here waiting for the uh, sound of police sirens to go away because it scares the hell out of me. Uh, sort of like an honorable mention tip, like when you're training, just make sure you are calm. Like the one misconception about parkour that I really don't like is that it's like an adrenaline sport. But when you're doing like risky maneuvers or jumps, the last thing you want is adrenaline pumping through your veins. If you're prepping to do something and your heart's pounding and you can't concentrate, just, I don't know. Go, go do something else for a little bit, whether that's, I don't know, go get some lunch, have a drink, just chat with your mates if you're with them. Just take a second to just like take a chill pill and then go back to it if you're ready. So let's go take a peek over like this this bit, that, that thing. Mm. Oh, I just stepped on a bone. Ew. Another tip for when you are like rooftoping and in places that, to be honest, you shouldn't be, but it's fun. Um, always figure out where you can get spotted from and keep checking, because if somebody does spot you, you want to be able to get out of there as soon as possible. But I don't know the next time I'm going to be back up here or, or anything like that. Oh, all right, let's do it. Get down, I'm so hungry. We got food. If you if you like Tesco meal deals, then you cannot deny that this is pretty much the best sandwich that you can get. Like, come on. All right, another good tip. Oh my God, is. All right, another tip is when you encounter security or police, because parkour is quite an unusual sport, make sure you're nice. Now, this is because, you know, parkour is an unusual sport. People don't really understand it. So sometimes they think, you know, what you're doing is wrong, which they're completely wrong about that because it's just fun as hell. So when you do encounter police or security, just make sure you're nice, you know, nice and cooperative. And if they ask you to leave, then just leave. You can always come back at some point. Just, just don't piss them off, yeah? And I just found another really good example of how to progress uh, certain moves. This one specifically vaults. So I wanna come along here and get over this wall and like drop to the other side, but I don't wanna use my feet. So we're gonna start by using our feet, which, you know, sounds a bit counterintuitive, but it's just the best way to learn. And slowly, so I'm gonna tap my foot on the wall every time I vault over, slowly and slowly, I'm gonna sort of like tap less and less and then eventually not at all. Yeah, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> oh my God. That felt like I was in the air for ages. Tip number, I, I've not been counting these, that's dumb. Um, how, to, how to stick something or just to like make a jump. So I, I really want to get from here to there, which is, is, is quite far. So first place you want to start is measure that out. And for some reason, the parkour way of doing this is you line up your foot with the back of the gap and then you just want to count how many feet so two three seven eight and almost almost nine what you want to do is find just flat area of ground 
and pretty much plot that out again. Basically, I've got to reach the stairs. And if I reach the stairs, then I know that I can make the actual gap, which is a little bit scarier. Yep, and I can definitely make that. Let's try. Whoa. There we go, method works. Now I really want to stick it though. Whoa. There we go. You know, the world is just so gloomy. You really need to just lighten up. Oh. That was far too easy. At some point in parkour, life, career, whatever you're doing with it, you are going to encounter this, this stuff, which is anti-climb paint. And I think this stuff's been here for about two and a half years or something. So it is dry as hell. But when it's first applied, it's like a thick layer of oily tar crap and it is disgusting. It stains everything and you cannot jump on it. So if you see it like freshly applied, just, you just got to avoid that. I should, uh, I should probably mention another of the main um, people related issue you're going to run into. It's not just security and the police, it is old people. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Like they just, they'll never appreciate it. But you know, if, if they start causing a fuss or security turns up, I'm definitely recording that. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally, as I cut off the video, some security guy starts walking up the stairs and goes, get down now. So he, he's that side. I'm going to get down this side and maybe I can just walk away without having anyone to confront because that would be uh, a lot easier, to be honest. And now we just walk away. So when you found a drop, so I eat this, find, uh, find one next to like, either grass or sands or anything that can soften your fall that isn't just like rock hard concrete or wood or whatever, just so you're not gonna, you know, snap your ankles. Um, I live right by the beach, so I'm going to make use of the sand. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> it's alright, I'll leave. 